determine the area of the given rectangle. And the area represents the number of square units that will fit inside this rectangle. And since the units are in centimeters, we want to determine how many square centimeters would fit inside this rectangle. The area formula for any rectangle is length times width. But if you forget this formula or you confuse it with perimeter, as long as you understand what area means, we should be able to derive this formula on our own. What I mean by that is if we can't remember the area formula, we should be able to figure it out if we take a look at a smaller rectangle. So if we look at a rectangle that has the dimensions of two units by three units, maybe something like this, again, it doesn't matter what the units are, if this side has a length of two units, and this side has a length of three units. And if we wanted to figure out how many squares would fit inside this rectangle, we could divide this into square units, like this, this, and this. And now we can visually see that the area of this rectangle would be six square units. And an easier way to obtain the area would have been to multiply the length times the width, or two times three, to obtain the area of six square units. So looking at our rectangle, to determine the area of this rectangle, we'll multiply the length of seven centimeters and the width of 12 centimeters. And I like leaving the units in because when we multiply, this will remind us that the units will be square units. Seven times 12 is 84, and centimeters times centimeters would be centimeters squared. This would be the area of the given rectangle, which means 84 square centimeters would fit perfectly inside this rectangle.